Mm -hmm. You peel them, you buy, you peel them, and you eat. So this guy just came to the open market in Oshakati, bought like a container of this ground that thing boiled, mm -hmm. and was eating, throwing everything in the mouth with the peels and chewing. <laughs> I was... Ciao ragazzi and welcome back to Lampies. Today's video is about the struggle of learning German. We have been in this country since ever, but it has been so difficult for us to learn this language properly. Part of living in Germany as well as working in Germany is learning, of course, the language. It makes it easier for you to integrate, to have friends and in just in general, your life is way easier here if you can speak German. And since we've been here for long, we have already have experiences where we're still struggling today, but there were bad times when you couldn't, you know, we moved here without knowing nothing, nothing. I literally only knew how to say good morning and that I've learned <laughs> on the flight. I feel your pain, oh, my goodness. The first time I came to this country, I couldn't even speak English. So can you imagine the, the, I don't know, the pain that I went through, like just to have simple everyday communication. It was so much struggle. That was our struggle until we discovered Lingoda. Lingoda is an amazing online learning platform where you can learn language, especially German, English, professional English, and Spanish. Yes, you know, I love the convenient and flexibility to just know that I can book my German course any time of the day. Like yesterday I booked a course at 11 and I did love that because it's a weekend, Saturday, you go through the park, we went to the park and we did everything we wanted and when I came home I could still just tie my own and this is 11 in the evening, I'm learning German. It just gives me that flexibility and I love that it's not like the classical app when you're talking to a robot. Absolutely. You have like a highly qualified teacher and the other fact that is amazing, the classes are maximum five people, but most of them are like three, two people. If you think of our experience when you're attending the classical language mm -hmm. course, it's like you go to a class and you have about 20 to 30 students in one class and I find it very difficult for the teacher to focus on you. So I do so just like the fact that here you have maximum five people in a group. Average is usually three, especially for the class that I attended yesterday. And and it's 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 amazing. I love the easy, how easy is it to use, how convenient, how flexible. And we also have to talk about affordability here. Way more affordable than a traditional German class where you have also all the time to move to the school <laughs> place, spend in the buses, maybe you are late because you didn't find the right connection and so on. Instead, you are seated at home, whenever, at whatever time of the day you are free. So you're talking about affordability in terms of time I, and money? I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking about affordability in terms of time and money, because time is money. I'm talking about like uh, the fact that it's personalized because you have a, a teacher that is focusing on you, on your problems on learning the language. I would also say, I wish, this is one thing I wish, mm -hmm. I wish I knew or it existed before I moved to Namibia because it gives you an opportunity mm -hmm. to learn the language while you're still in your home country. Six months before you move, you are learning already that you move and it's just amazing that way. And yeah, shout out to Lingoda for sponsoring this video. If you guys are also in the process of learning a new language, English, Dutch, or Spanish, I'm just going to leave that 20% discount link below here. Click on it and learn a language. You can do it for moving to a country, for studying, or you can also do it just six months before you join your, you go for vacation somewhere. Absolutely. Back to the video for today. Yeah. Now, what was your first experience coming into Germany? Going to the visa office, yeah. home affairs, like where you make sure that you get a visa as a foreign. It is very interesting because you would assume that if it's an office that's supposed to be helping foreigners, mm -hmm. probably those people who work there speak other languages. I'm telling you, no. Maybe if you're in big cities, in smaller cities, and our city is not even so small, I don't live so far away from Berlin. This guy didn't know how to speak English at all. Yeah. 
And I remember, you remember one day I came home crying mm -hmm. because I was so frustrated. You go there, you have all the papers and you can't communicate to the person. You don't even know where the person is. This is terrible. It's frustrating. frustrating. My first experience learning German was terrible. I remember that I was like about two or three months before I came here for an exchange study program of one year. I couldn't speak any English, I couldn't speak any Deutsch, but I take this class of Deutsch and I learned basically nothing because there were 20 people there. Everybody was from a different culture. They were all trying to learn German and the teacher was kind of just doing the traditional way where you go word by word and you try to build the sentence structure. But I remember I didn't learn anything. So I first moved to Germany, I remember, and it was so much a struggle just to ask information around. I couldn't speak German. I, I, I had everything written down on little piece of paper on Google translated with my phone because uh, that was the only way for me to survive, basically. Mm -hmm. No, yes, the second thing that mm -hmm. is also has been a struggle. You're probably wondering, this. most of this experience we are talking about is really pretty much at the beginning before we even started living together. Mm -hmm. And for me, one of those things is, in Germany you got a lot of letters mm -hmm. from every single office. Mm -hmm. Now, you get some letters that are very important, but you're just unaware that they are important. Yeah. There is, for example, the TV tax. Ah, uh, the TV tax is... <laughs> As a, <laughs> yeah. I had no idea in Namibia we didn't have it. It's now now in Namibia they do have it as well, but we didn't have it. So I received this TV stuff I think seven times, and mm -hmm. every time it it looks more like an advert sent to you, and you kind of just throwing your money to somebody you don't know, and for what reason you are unaware. You are new, you don't understand what's on the letter. It's also very short. What's usually on that yep. letter, and. After that, I got a fine of 200 and I got, I did, I think, owe them some 500 euro or so ever to pay. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I fined me about 200 something for ignoring this. So this is one of my struggle as, mm -hmm. ah. I wish I knew the language. Better. I wish I knew the language or there was an easier way to learn the language. Because at the end of the, you know, the whole thing is I couldn't really learn the language because I had to spend I don't know, six to ten hours every day in the lab. Yeah, yeah. So this was one also important experience that I think I wish I had other ways of learning the language than sitting in a class for three hours. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't have three hours to sit somewhere. Absolutely. Okay, another really bad experience that I had was when I came back, once I came back from Italy with a brand new MacBook Pro that I just bought and I was so happy about it. And what do I do? I forget it on the train. And why? Because you had a, a suitcase full of pasta, but you left. <laughs> I had many suitcases and I had this backpack from one side with a computer inside. And I just, I don't Sorry. know how, I think I was in a hurry no. for, to get the connection. You can open the things. Oh, well, I brought I do, you pasta. I brought pasta. you pasta. <laughs> or I brought you all these products from Italy and Lampy. And I said, Oh my goodness, when I came to the realization that I forgot the things, I just wanted to cry. Because I every, I thought I was gone, the computer was gone. I was trying to call uh, the assistants and ask if somebody found this backpack in the train. I really had little hope, but incredibly, I think that happens, can happen just in Germany. Somebody took the backpack and the computer to the uh, lost and found at the train station. I was really after two hours of calling and trying to, to to let people understand me it was so difficult and embarrassing but at the end i got this computer back so this bad experience had a happy ending at the end if you are a foreigner you're moving to another country you're obviously interested in studying or working yeah and when it comes to getting a job i can share my experience i also remember my first job when the hiring manager was calling me and wanted to say some information to me on the phone, I just had no idea. Mm -hmm. I, I sure just that. said, please send me the address where I can meet, <laughs> you know, the professor the following day or the, the person I'm going to. Yes. And, and, and it did actually also sound I'm feeling like you're not polite. Yes. But I, I just couldn't, and it's on the phone for that minute, it was 
difficult to ah, understand. Yeah. One of the most embarrassing experience I, I ever had was like when I was uh, uh, doing some course online and then uh, I had to do a final presentation uh, in German language and I had to prepare like my presentation uh, of German and I was like basically writing everything in English, Ooh. Google translating. Google translating and then when I was the time of doing the presentation I was just basically reading the things even with a bad accent and not not properly. Yeah. Google so. Translate is a bad thing. I mean I have I think I have done it, especially at the beginning, with chatting, you know, when I just moved and you're single, you're hanging with a friend, be it you are dating whatsoever and you are using Google Translate, mm -hmm. it can send some nonsense. But Absolutely. I, I can't even imagine in a presentation. No, no, no. <laughs> No, I will, guys, don't do this. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. But yeah, uh, that is, it, it's part of being a foreigner, you know. I'm laughing because we are talking about struggles of what you experience as a foreigner in another country. And here we are talking in this, and we are speaking about this in context of learning the language and how that is going to simplify your life and how it not learning that will complicate your life. I'm thinking also, I remember one time when I was in Namibia and I saw a European guy mm -hmm. was eating, you know, a fukwa? A fukwa, yeah. Yeah, this little, uh, they're like this little balls, like almost, I think, from the ground at Femi. Mm -hmm. You peel them, you buy, you peel them, and you eat. So this guy just came to the open market in Oshakati, bought like a container of this ground that thing boiled, mm -hmm. and was eating, throwing everything in the mouth with the peels and chewing. <laughs> I was with my mom, we were just laughing. <laughs> I mean, now looking back at it, I'm thinking of all the crazy things I've done here. Yes, mm -hmm. I wish I would just say, hello, you know what? You need to feel and you feel it. was literally eating the things. It's embarrassing. But yeah, it's just part of getting, you know, yep. integrated in your new society. Because if you don't know, know the language, you can't really get in touch with the, local, with the locals. That is true. Yeah, you can. Some might, but I think you won't be able to, to be fully integrated, integrated. as somebody mm -hmm. who knew the, how to speak the, the language. Absolutely. So, those were and still are our everyday struggle learning German. We go through this embarrassing situation every single day. If you enjoy this, as usual, guys, show us some love by hitting the subscribe button, the like button, and also leave a comment. What are you struggling with at the moment if you're living abroad? Exactly. And once again, a shout out to Ligoda for sponsoring this video. See you in our next episode. Ciao, ciao, ciao.